pin down there for Glidden. They switched it. Rob Lowe and Jeremy Kendall. They go back to the big man. Again, they put up the three. Defensive rebound coming in for Anticevic. So Kendall having a quiet quarter for his likes and then heard me and said, no, I'm not. Right on cue. The first time he's had a little bit of space. Inbounds the ball. Nice little pop there. The Sharks are doing a good job of staying with their man when it's just one screen. When it's a screen, the screen are actually two screens in it. They're having a tough time of getting through and communicating. Dalton has just played his role. You play around, especially when you're starting with four other guys like Jared Weeks, Ruben Tarangi. As you see Kendall hit every single point of the room. <laughs> Under a minute and a half to play here. Kendall, Kendall's going to drive. Passes it behind his back. That is a beautiful and one. So what can Kendall do? He's going to just drive himself, fakes it out, walks it to anticipate, banks the three. That is a brilliant play from Southland. Cunningham tries to set the screen, can't do so. Pulls up for a mid-range jumper, gets it as well, does Kendall. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Passes it out to Inga. He gets a hand to it, do the Tuatana. Three seconds left, little jump shot, and he gets the and one. They've got the rebound now, the Sharks. Then Kendall, that bounce pass. Oh, that's a heavy fall as well, an and one. Solon stops. That's how you slowly build a lead. Kendall's just going to go himself, and another and one. These guys are just drawing fouls left, right, and center in this third quarter. The rebound as well, Antisovic gives it to Kendall. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Puts the ball up, Kendall, and that is money. The footwork and the step back. Kendall, five seconds left on the shot clock. Needs to put it up. He's going to go one-on-one -on -one with Lawson. Pulls up for the two and backs it. The airs were just eating up the turnovers. He probably should have let that one go, but Kendall will fight three. And why not? Why not give it to your best shooter in the team? Continue to say that all season long. Kendall pulls up for a deep two, knocks it down. 